Hello everyone, welcome to part 7 of Laravel PostgreSQL tutorial in which we are working on the CRUD operations and in this part we are going to list users in data table. So we are going to use the data table uh, that we require uh, in almost uh, every series we have used the data tables uh, we require in the admin panel. Okay, uh, so here we are going to add the data table and these are the steps that you are required to take every time if you are going to integrate the data table not only uh, here in this particular area but anywhere in the laravel website in the admin panel or anywhere else okay so uh, first of all there are a few scripts that you are required to add so these scripts you can put it uh, you can just uh, download it and can store in your files like uh, this css script you can put in your css folder this js, uh, JS script you can put in uh, in your js folder okay don't do it like this but for saving the time i am simply going to copy these scripts okay so uh, here uh, like uh, we want the data table here in the index blade file so i'm going to open the index blade file and we'll add the scripts here okay at the top okay so these are the scripts that we are going to add okay so after adding these scripts we need to call the data table for this particular table and its table name i am going to give it like uh, i will give the id as users okay here i am going to give the id as users okay so after this uh, just the thing that we are required to do we need to call the data table for this users id okay so that is the thing that we are required to do okay so that is done okay so so simple to add the data table for any of the table and here i am going to refresh it and you can see the data table has come up here you can see the changes uh, here comes the uh, pagination if there are too many entries you can simply uh, have the privilege to uh, see whatever like uh, you uh, if you want just the 25 entries you can uh, just switch to 25 if you, if you want the 50 in one page you can switch to 50 okay so such kind of thing and also the search has come up here so like if we are going to search for specific entry like i will add here the rahul so you can see it is working instantly see i have just typed the rahul and it just there is no button kind of thing and you just require to add here something and it will automatically refresh and will give that result so so beautiful it is okay so also the pagination here previous next will come uh, when there are too many entries okay so uh, you can sort the results from here as well like the descending order ascending order it will work from here as well and here also it it will sort the uh in alphabetic order, order orders here the name we can sort and also the emails we can able to sort as well so see the operations here their uh, data table gives many uh predefined operations so that is the advantage of the data table that you can use okay so uh, for more details you can simply open the jquery data table and you will find lot of data table here lot of examples here that you can simply integrate you just require to open this data tables.net website and from here you can able to uh, integrate the more kind of layout for the data tables and there is one more website that is available uh here you can see uh yeah from git bash uh, uh, sorry from github as well you can find this one as well and you can uh, simply add this one see we have added this bootstrap 4 you can see that the bootstrap 4 we have already added so here you can open this link and you can add these bootstrap 4 data tables as well that is uh is means uh, can work with our uh, our series as well okay so i hope that you can able to do this at your end uh, so we will continue working on something else in the next part so please stay tuned for that and one more thing i want to tell you that for all the updates uh, you just require to uh, subscribe to the stack developer youtube channel so this is the channel don't forget to subscribe because we are going to do many many new things every time okay uh, so new series uh, with new things okay so uh, to keep uh, uh, to, to keep yourself up to date uh, you can uh, just simply subscribe the channel and also you can join the channel if you want to get the complete source code not only for this one but all the series we have already built up many many series so far we have done the multi-vendor e-commerce website that you can see 
after opening this website multivendor.stackdevelopers.in that we have created the complete series we have completed that uh, we have done with the laravel and mysql we have done with the laravel and mongodb we have done the laravel 8 series laravel 9 laravel 10 laravel 11 so you can simply get all the series once you will join as a member you will get the complete source code of multi-vendor e-commerce website that we have built in laravel okay uh, so uh, you can also open the sidemakers.in website as well uh, in which you can find all the series that we have done so far with all the complete source code multi-vendor laravel 11 with mongodb laravel 10 with mysql okay you can able to get the complete details of all the series from here and you can simply uh, click on login and here you can find the various ways to join as a member okay not one but you can join with the paypal as well you can join with your uh, with your credit or debit card as well for the indian users you can pay with gpay google pay or you can pay with the paytm as well okay so there are many payment get uh, many payment gateways are available if you want to uh, just uh, 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 see you are required to pay small fees to get the entire series okay and with complete support so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye